I'm Lynn Gilmartin with updates from this week on the WPT. We've got Vince Van Patten and some of his prop bet stories, updates from the World Online Championships, a highlight from the Club WPT streams on Twitch and the WPT Tournament of Champions on Fox Sports. It's all this week on the WPT. Now, starting off, Jamie Staples had Vince Van Patten on the weekly poker showdown. Now, of course, you know Vince as WPT commentator, pro tennis player, actor, but he's also a prop bet legend. What about the prop bet world? Like, do you have any other prop bet stories from this game? You know, you get to know some guys and the game gets silly. You play all the time and these bets come up. So so do you have any tales of crazy, interesting prop bets beside that one? I used to do a basketball bet and I'm not a very good basketball player. Just average at best. But from half court, I would take the ball and throw it. How many, you know, how many throws can I get for 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks? And Mike Sexton said, Lance, I'm going to give you 15 throws. No way you're going to make that throw. I'm going to give you 15 throws. Okay, Mike, we bet 500. Boom. I would hit it. I was good. So the number got it cut down. You know, Mike would finally say, well, Lance, now you're too good. You're going to be about seven. You got to do it in seven. Okay, Mike, boom, I would hit it. So finally, it went down to about five. Five, I was down to five throws, one and five, and I started losing that. So that was one of my famous prop bets. Can I make the half court throw uh, in five? And the number was four or five. I wasn't going to do it. I, today, I'd make it by seven or eight, but that was one of the bets. And I, I remember playing, and I bet everybody before the poker game, big game I was going to play. it. And we went out to the tennis court where there was a basketball court, and I bet everybody. I was very cocky, and the number was five. And I bet a thousand here and three thousand there and four thousand. I thought I was going to win. I lost that stinking bet, and I was stuck twenty five thousand before I even got to play poker <laughs> half an hour later. I was sick, so I blew it all back. The moral of the story is, you you got to know your number, right? <laughs> you can catch that full conversation with Jamie Staples on the Party Poker TV YouTube channel, and I also had a chat with him this week as well. If you want to check that out, dealers shuffle up and deal. Cards are well in the air this weekend in event number three in the WPT World Online Championships on Party Poker. This event is the first of five championship events that we'll have throughout the series where the winner will have their name etched on the Mike Sexton WPT Champions Cup. Now let's rewind a little bit and check out Alex Gray's update from this week in the WOC. Our shooting stars showered the virtual felts with $500 bounties and with 483 entries, a donation of $51,200 was made by Party Poker along with pledges by players for our charity One Day Sooner. This two-day event attracted some of the biggest names and not just in the poker world. Timo Kampfus defeated them all, also claiming Sam Trickett and Mata Simbola's bounties at the final table along with the title and a $90,500 prize. Timo, you started off the final table as a short stack and you had a couple good hands there. One against Sam Trickett where you beat him with ace-king versus ace-king. Tell us a little bit about that hand. Pretty standard hand. That's where it all started. And uh, yeah, it came as a short stack. After that hand, uh, I doubled. Then I doubled again with queens against ace-king. And from that point on, I was like the big stack. Could apply a lot of pressure and that's what I did, yeah. And the hand that you busted Sam Trickett with, King Four up against his Ace Ten when you flop two pair, a nice hand, right? It was a nice hand, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was like pretty late in the tournament already, where I was the big stack and everyone was pretty short. So I tried to play a lot of pressure, and he called it off. So that's bad for me, but also I guess bad for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we also have a PLO champion to celebrate. Parish Doshi and Alex Manzano were left heads up where they paused the clock and decided on a deal, with the ICM calculator splitting their share pretty evenly, leaving 10K and the prestigious title to play for. The explosive hand that ended it all saw all chips going in when both flopped top two pair on a king nine three flop. But with pocket threes in Manzano's favor, he cinched a set, sealing the deal for the PLO specialist. Now, after two weeks of PLO tarnies, we finally have our major No Limit Hold'em events. We have the first of our five Sexton Cup Championship events, the Ace Max Championship. Who will be the first to have their name etched on the newly titled cup and become part of poker's legacy? 
Oh, so to make this festival just that little bit more special, we have decided to treat you again by having all of the Tournament of Champions presented by Becker at Crystal seats added to the prize pool. Yes, that's right. And not only will winners join the prestigious WPT Champions Club, they will also win some beautiful Baccarat Crystal glassware and a luxurious Hublot watch. This is not one of them. <laughs> now over two weeks into our World Online Championships and Party Poker's own Kristen Bicknell is still dominating up top on the player of the championship leaderboard. And over in our rising star category, my favorite name to pronounce, Rajendra Nath Chiguro is also still dominating. If you're looking for the WOC schedule, then go to partypokerlive.com, click on the WPT World Online Championships, and you'll see the full schedule there. And for the most current info on WOC results, look out for the written updates on WPT.com there on the homepage. And you can also go back and watch all of the broadcasts that are hosted by James Dempsey and a bunch of other guests uh, on the Party Poker TV's Twitch account. So it's twitch.tv slash Party Poker TV. Now, speaking of streams, <laughs> on the World Poker Tour's Twitch account, Matt Savage managed to final table his own Club WPT bounty event again. Uh, he also managed to stir up the stream team while he was at it. So deep into the event... He slow rolled our loyal stream teamer, Kevin Casino. Uh, he drained his entire 90 second time bank to, to do that slow roll. Check it out. He's done it. He's moved all in. Man, do I want to double up Kevin? Time bank time. What do you think, Bella? Bella, what should I do? Should I bust Kevin? <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Call. Oh, I got him. Ace King versus Ace Queen. Cavan, I got you. No Queen. Club. Sorry, Cavan. Bella was right. Four on the red river. I got him. Karma may not have found its revenge in that hand, but it did where it really mattered, and Matt busted out in fourth place. Good job, Matt. <laughs> if you want to hang out with Vince, Tony, Matt, and me on the streams every weekend, just head to clubwpt.com slash twitch, and you'll find our schedule there every week. And on Fox Sports this week, we've got our third episode of the Season 17 WPT Tournament of Champions. This is our flagship season-ending event. Uh, this is actually the event that all five of our WOC Championship events winners will earn their way into over the coming weeks. And our own Tony Dunst was at the final table in Season 17. That's what's on this episode tonight. I've got no spoilers here. Just make sure you check your local listings on Fox Sports Network. And that is it from me this week on the WPT.